Why does your skin get so dry in menopause? Let's talk about it. Dry skin is a common symptom in menopause and can start early in the perimenopausal phase. Over 36% of women over the age of 40 notice dry skin. So why do you get dry skin in menopause? Well, your skin becomes dry for a couple of different reasons. Number one, low estrogen levels can cause your skin to become dehydrated. Estrogen affects all the linings of your body, including your skin. And second, when your estrogen levels are lower, your skin produces a lot less collagen, which is a protein that helps keep your tissues together. The skin cells no longer create that nice, thick, lush stack that protects you from the drying effects of heat, cold, wind, and water. Lack of adequate estrogen is the main reason for dry skin and menopause. Now, can HRT help menopausal dry skin? Yes, hormone replacement therapy can be actually very helpful. But once you're postmenopausal, it can be difficult to get enough systemic hormones on board to improve your dry skin. Yet HRT is definitely the best way to rejuvenate your skin. While not as effective on their own, topical therapies can be helpful if you're already using systemic estrogen therapy. And by systemic, I prefer to use transdermal or sublingual, not oral. Systemic oral estrogen can increase your risk of blood clots. Always when using estrogen, I recommend you use progesterone as it helps to diminish the growth factor effect of estrogen for those cells that are outgrowing their welcome like tumor cells. Progesterone also enhances estrogen receptors so that your skin responds to systemic estrogen faster. What alternative therapies might help dry skin and menopause? Well, of the topical therapies, hyaluronic acid has been shown to help hydrate your skin. Being sure you're hydrating your body from the inside out by drinking enough water is important to help moisturize your skin. You need at least a half an ounce of water per pound of weight per day. Now, limit the amount of time your skin is exposed to water though. Hot water especially tends to dehydrate your tissues. After bathing, be sure to moisturize your skin. Because your ovaries aren't coming back after menopause, you're dependent on adequate adrenal function to make some endogenous hormones. Adrenal DHEA can be converted into testosterone and then into estrogen. Women with fairly good adrenal function will have much less dryness of their skin. Now, if you have any questions regarding menopausal dry skin, please join us in our hormone support group, which you can access by signing up for my free hormone reboot training. I have found my menopausal patients who support their hypothalamus with Genesis Gold have better adrenal function and a lot less dryness and crepiness of their skin. Their skin looks and feels a lot healthier than those who do not support their hypothalamus. Plus, by supporting their hypothalamus with Genesis Gold, they're able to use a lot less hormone replacement therapy to keep their skin healthy. I'll see you in the next video.